I'm hypnotizing the cat. Yo, he's almost there. And after some successful hypnotizing, I can now confirm that the cat is part of the Devify family. Hi, my name's Dev and I'm a fourth year medical student at Imperial College in London. Welcome to my channel. I make videos about student lifestyle, medicine and tech. And so if any of that interests you, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. So today's video is going to be about why my friends and I decided to study medicine at Imperial College London. So they're going to give you some of their reasons and then I'll join you guys right at the very end and give you some of mine. Make sure you check out their Instagrams in the description down below. And with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy. Let's jump straight into the video. The biggest reason why I chose Imperial was because it was in London, not having another opportunity to like live in London again and making the most of the opportunity that was given to me. So Imperial was one of the top unis in London that do yeah. medicine and it was an, it was just a an easy choice in that sense. Yeah, when you apply for foundation year programmes to become a junior doctor, um, in London universities are very competitive. Mm. I'm kind of glad that I took the opportunity to you know, experience London um, when the opportunity arose because you never know if you could when get, you're gonna yeah. live there again yeah i always wanted to go to london for uni and there's just so much to do there so for example you can go to the best nightclubs in the world you can go to the best parks the best museums the best restaurants you name it there's everything there imperial is in london and london's just a very diverse city with a lot of stuff to do um especially in terms of university life i think london has a lot to offer it is in the heart of london and I come from Singapore, and the accent is fake, by the way. But I come from Singapore, and I've always wanted to go to the UK and you know live in England for a little bit. And what better place than in the heart of London? Initially, I was actually a bit apprehensive about moving to London, as I'm from a city that's quite a bit smaller. But then I went on an open day and visited the campus, and I loved the location of it. Um, and it was a really nice atmosphere. So it's right in the heart of South Kensington, surrounded by loads of museums, and it's really close to central London, and there's so much cool stuff to do and see around that area, so I really enjoyed living there in the end. It's like in the heart of South Kensington, mm. which is like, it's an amazing location, and especially during summer when you're, you know, I remember during summer when I would like get off at South Kensington yeah, during tube so station. Beautiful. It was so amazing, like in, in the summer when you, it's full of just like tourists and you were mm. just there going to, you know, morning lecture Literally, and these guys are, yeah. you know, going to all the museums <laughs> around there. So. And they've travelled around the world yeah, to come exactly. to where we like take for granted. It's, yeah, people you're right. come around the world just it's to beautiful. go to, yeah. So I would say Imperial's probably got one of the, one of the best campus locations as in the UK. Yeah, so, 100%. There's so many like museums and mm. attractions there. I mean, literally just next door and they're free, mm. the museums. So yeah, you could board during revision, DNA, or DNA um, National um, History, yeah, National History yeah, um, and the Science Museum. Yeah, haven't been to that uh, yet. Harrods is literally like Yeah, walk. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice for a browse. Imperial itself has such an esteemed reputation for its teaching and its research and it personally makes you so proud to say that you go to Imperial, to anyone else, your friends and family. Imperial is also a world-renowned research centre, so I thought that might be helpful if I ever wanted to get involved in any research myself in the future. Imperial is at the forefront of cutting-edge research, as I'm sure you guys all know about the Covid vaccination that Imperial is leading right now. So I wanted to be in an institution where research was at the forefront. Imperial is actually one of the top leading universities for research. So we have the National Heart and Lung Institute um, attached to the university. Yeah. We also have um, lots of different, for, for me I'm quite interested in psych, um, psychiatry. So there's the um, psychiatry like drug research trials that occur. It's the, it's the hub of lots of research. And if that's something that you're interested in or you might be interested in, Imperial is the place for you to explore those um, ideas that you have. Echoes. I find that Imperial is so like trendsetting in yeah, yeah. what they do. So, it yeah. echoes their research ethos, doesn't mm. it? London is a great place to study. I love the fact that we had access to a diverse range of patient populations. The Imperial hospitals themselves are located near Heathrow, so you're going to learn about diseases that are never before seen in the UK. I feel like you can meet the widest range of patients in London hospitals. And not only patients, you'll meet different kinds of people at the university itself that I definitely wouldn't have met at any other university. I remember when I was applying, everyone would look at the league tables and stuff to see where all the universities were ranked and Imperial was always like at least top five. The course in Imperial really appealed to me because it had a really good mix of the classic lecture-based teaching as well as more 
interactive stuff like team-based learning, problem-based learning, labs and tutorials and stuff. So that was really good as well. Um, and I think I'm pretty sure Imperial had patient contact since year one, which was an important aspect that I was looking for. The way in which the course was structured and delivered suited my learning needs and my learning style. I prefer to learn the science underpinning the clinical context first, as I don't just want to be let loose on wards, I want to understand the reasonings behind disease processes, as that will help me learn and help me remember it for the future. So at the time, it was mainly lectures with a few PBL sessions, and I felt like a university that was solely PBL focused wouldn't really fit my learning style. It was also a pretty good mix of preclinical and clinical teaching, um, as it focuses mainly on preclinical science in your first few years with a few clinical placements and then progresses to more clinical placements throughout the course. Hey, it's me again. Uh, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you drop a like down below and uh, let me know in the comments down below um, that you're enjoying the video. If you're an international kid who's going to Imperial, I know things can be quite daunting. Like, first of all, it's going to be a huge jump from school to college. But now, you're going to be in a different country. So there's definitely going to be some culture shock. But you don't have to worry because Imperial has such a huge, diverse population. Like, you find people with the same interests as you. Whether you're a sporting person or a non-sporting person, whether you drink or you don't drink, you'll always have a group of people to be with. So there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I would highly recommend, as an international student, signing up for the Freshers Passport and going for all the Freshers events. Even if you're not a drinker, there are a lot of events you to talk to. And it's a great time and great place to meet a lot of people. And Imperial has a huge international community, so you're not going to be the only one. I mean, of course, a lot of it depends on whether uh, how many people are there from your country. I was quite lucky. Uh, there were about more than 10 of us from Singapore when I joined and some of them were even from my school. It's super easy to find a, a support group in Imperial. Not only international students but also people from the UK, people are from all over the country, yeah. Ireland, Wales, like Scotland, like it's so wonderfully mixed that I, I, I've just found my people at uni and it's just, I've, I don't know, maybe I wouldn't have had the same opportunity elsewhere so Imperial has really like given me that which I do appreciate it. The diversity of the place like I thought being from Singapore would be like the odd one out, the only like foreign kid in the UK, but literally half my friends are like from all over Europe and all over the globe, so it's such a diverse place and you can meet so many other people which you'll never have the you know opportunity to meet ever. Imperial also has a lot of cultural societies, so if you join them, that would be really amazing. For example, I'm from Singapore and that's this thing called the Imperial College of Singapore Society and you can go there, they have a lot of celebrations like Chinese New Year dinner and stuff like that. They also have mums and dads, in case you don't know what that is, you'll get pad up with an older year. And they kind of help you out with uni life, whether it's work or social. And I think that's an amazing thing to do. The medical community is so tight and united and there's so many events that are run throughout the year. And I found that this is where I've met most of my friends for life. Imperial has one of the most, if not the most, um, clubs and societies um, of mm. any student union yeah, in the, the UK. Most, yeah. yeah, I think it's something like 320. Wow. Anything you want to explore or do in, in your spare time at uni, which you know, isn't that much yeah, spare like, time. No, but, yeah, true. I've heard yeah. of like skydiving yeah. society yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you can do skydiving. There's, there's so much mm. going on. Basically, anything you want to do, there's a society, and if there isn't, it's so easy to make society mm, true. Um, and get involved in societies. It really, it kind of makes a second family within university. Mm. It is one of the best universities in the world, period. It's like top 10, I think. And despite being such an, you know, an academic school, there's plenty of time for like, you know, socializing, having fun. Like literally, I think I had so much fun in Imperial last year. That I think I barely studied, but I mean, I still passed, so that's what all that matters, right? But basically, it's phenomenal work life balance. People are so welcoming, so accepting, and just I've had a very good experience so far. And in all seriousness, like, I could not recommend Imperial College more. I went to London as, you know, by myself as a foreign kid, and I felt so much at home the last year with all my friends there. Honestly, you will not regret coming to Imperial. All the best guys, and I'll see you next year at Imperial. In the UK, you obviously have to do the UK CAT to get into medicine or the BMAT, depending on which university you want to go to. Um, 
And I, before I applied to university, I did pass papers in both the UK CAT and the BMAT. I got better grades yeah. in the BMAT. And you were um, more confident with it as well. I was so much I more felt, confident. Yeah, um, that's with it. it was more similar to the A levels that we were learning, um, and the books kind of made sense. Yeah. Um, I knew how to get better marks in it. Um, whereas on the UK CAT, it was a lot more abstract thinking. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so time pressured as well. Time like pressured, it. yeah. So I felt like it was harder for me to improve my score in the UK CAT. Similar things for me as well. I enjoyed the BMAT more sense of like between UCAT and BMAT it was just it was an easy choice BMAT was the one that I was doing better and I enjoyed so now we're going to jump to my reasons as to why I chose to study medicine at Imperial College London. Hopefully some of these will be unique to what my friends have mentioned. Now obviously the biggest reason has to be that Imperial gives all their medical students a free iPad, so bribery is basically the key to my heart and uh, Imperial knows this. Jokes apart though, one of my favourite reasons was that Imperial gives all students the opportunity to study a cadaver. So you get one body between about 10, 10 people I'd say, and you study sort of from head to toe throughout your first two years and you kind of get you know you get in there and it's, it's literally cutting the body open really it's a bit it's a bit mank obviously but I feel like it's quite essential and I definitely didn't make the most out of it I feel like I would want to go back and learn even more than I did earlier on but you get to cut the body open and go and see the organs in person and you can cut the organs up and look at it in so in real life which is a lot lot different to what textbooks offer you you can only learn so much so that's one of the big reasons and I don't think um, all medical schools do this it's quite a unique thing to only a few ones and I think some medical schools do what's called a uh, prosection so it's cut for you basically so you don't actually cut it yourself you, you can look at it but in Imperial you actually cut it yourself which has its own kind of excitement and you know, opportunities to learn. The next thing would be uh, London hospitals as Ranak mentioned in his video the diversity of patients coming to London and you know the amount of diseases and conditions that we'd see is a lot different to what the rest of the country would see. I think Krish mentioned this as well with his um, about being close to Heathrow the fact that um, loads of people are flying in bringing in uh, conditions from tropical climates from you know all sorts of climates the types of diseases that they that people can get there is very different to what someone from the UK might get so there's a whole lot of diversity Diversity. And the hospitals Imperial has are quite prestigious, like you've got St. Mary's um, and Charing Cross Hospital like, and, and loads more. And St. Mary's I think is where um, penicillin was discovered by Sir Alexander Fleming. And a lot of the royal family are actually um, born there, which is really cool. And finally, my last reason would be the intercalation aspect. So medicine is usually a five year degree, but Imperial makes it six years. And what that means is we have one extra year where we get to intercalate. And uh, that means that at the end of your six years, you not only have a um, an MBBS, which is the medicine degree, you actually get a Bachelor of Science as well. You get the opportunity to go sort of like a deeper dive into um, whatever kind of uh, niche that you want, whether that's hematology, resp, cardio, and also some non-scientific subjects as well, like management and bioengineering. And it's one of those last times where you can study something non-medicine. So for me, I chose management. I thought it'd be really cool. But when you're applying to your foundation years, a part of the application, I think you get two points. Um, sorry, no, I think you get five points actually um, for studying a BSc. So that's that's a pretty cool cool thing, I think. And so that brings the video to a close. I hope you guys did enjoy um, all the experiences and the reasons that uh, my friends had to share with you guys. Um, if you did, make sure you drop a like down below and let me know in the comments that you loved it. And if you want to see more future content like this, make sure you subscribe. Um, we're almost at 2100 now, which is amazing. And also thank you guys for 2000 subscribers. I will have a Q&A coming up to celebrate that. And with that said, I hope you guys have a good day. I've been Devify and I'm out.